Hola everyone, Christian here. Product bundling or completing an outfit is a great way to increase your average order value for your clothing store. Now we found a way to do this without any app using meta fields and custom product pages. So let's get started. We've been looking at different ways to use meta fields and we've come up with a way to offer other products that you get to hand select into certain product pages, right? So let's get started with this process. Again, this is not necessarily the end all be all or it's perfect by any means, um, but it gives you an opportunity to yeah, showcase products inside of product pages uh, that you are hand selecting and hand picking. Uh, right now, a lot of themes actually do offer the ability to have a sort of a recommended products right at the, at the bottom. Um, and obviously there's hundreds of apps out there that allow you to, again, do the hand selecting of products to sort of complete this look right within the product page. Um, but I just want to provide a free option that doesn't require any additional apps or anything like that. And just allows you to showcase the products that you want, depending on the, on the product that the, the, the actual customer is viewing. So let's get started with this process. Uh, first off, we need to create our meta fields. And in this example, we're going to create three different meta fields that complement a product, right? So we're gonna do a complete the look one, two, and three, so that for this particular product that they're looking at, they're gonna get three products that I think that go well with it, right? So you want to go to settings and then go to meta fields. And then in here, we're going to create one or those three inside of products right here. All right, so we're gonna do add definition and then the name. I'm gonna call it complete the look one. And then select content type, we're gonna do a reference. And then the reference is going to be a product. See how this is kind of working? Now, uh, we don't wanna do the list of values, so we're gonna leave it like that and then click save. And then let's create the next two. All right, now that we have all three created in here, so we have complete the look one, two, three, and then the content type is going to be a reference to a product. Now we can go to the actual products and hand pick and hand select what we want. So um, we are going to, we're going to use the Amarillo by morning shirt right here. And then as you can see right here under the meta fields, we have the complete the look one, two, three. All right, and then what we wanna do here is select the actual products that we want to complement this shirt. So, complete the look product one, you select the product, then we're gonna do this one right here, click add, and then for the next one, select product, let's do this one, click add, and then for this one, select product, and then let's do this one, and then click add. Now, as you can see, all the products are hand selected by me, and these are the products that I want to showcase when people land on this particular product page. Now, hey, before we move on, I just want to say bienvenidos. My name is Christian Pignon, one of the co-founders here at Big Branding. We're an e-commerce growth agency that specializes in helping clothing stores grow and scale profitably online. We drop new videos every week, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, so you don't miss out on any of our content. All right, so we want to make sure that we hit save on that product right there. <clears throat> And then we are going to go to online store and we need to customize the theme so that we can showcase these on that product page. So we're going to go over Dawn. So we're making all these changes in the Dawn theme. And let's go to product page default. And as you can see, we have the, this is the product that I want to see, the Amarillo by morning uh, tea. Now I've tried several different things and the one thing that does work here is for us to add a section right underneath um, the product uh, information and add to cart and all that stuff. So right underneath here, we'll add just a big section that has these products. Um, and there's only one section that will um, accommodate this and that's going to be the collage. So the multimedia collage allows you to do a lot of different things like video, products, collections, but you can actually do a collage of just three products and that's what we're gonna do here. So we're gonna go over and delete the video in the collection sections here. So remove that block and then the collection one, remove that block and then we're gonna add another product one, add a block and add product. So as you can see, now we have three products showcasing right here. Now we're gonna go inside of one of those 
And then instead of just selecting a product, now the reason why you don't wanna just select a product is because for every single product page or in, any single product that the customer goes to, they'll see the exact same products, right? So we want them to change depending on the product page they go. So that's why you click on this little thing right here. It says connect dynamic source. And then in here, you'll see that you have complete the look one, two, and three. And that's what we want to link to this section right here. So complete the look and then connect. Go back, go to the second one, click on the connect dynamic source, complete the look two. Oops, connect. And then complete the look three. There we go. And then connect. And as you can see, it automatically changes from the placeholder images to now we have the three hand picked products that we selected that look good with this product right here. And then I think lastly, what we want to do here is change the multimedia collage to let's say complete the look. But obviously you can use this for anything, right? Um, it doesn't have to necessarily be complete to look. Um, it could be maybe complimentary or our recommended products or et cetera, or whatever you want, you want it to be um, for that. Now, the only problem with this right now is that what we've done here is we've basically have it as a default product. So that means that if we have a product and we haven't handpicked items to complete the look for that particular product, then this whole section, this collage section, is still going to show and it's just gonna be blank. And that's just not gonna be a good experience for the customer. So let me just show you how that looks. So if I click on this product, for example, you'll see that we have the complete the look section right here and it just has example product title and just placeholder stuff and not a good look, right? It, looks, it just, it seems like uh, something was incomplete here in the website building process. So what we want to do is instead of having this custom section, this collage complete the look on the default product, we want to essentially create a new um, product page template. And this is very, very easy. All you have to do is go to products and then I already created one earlier, but we just click on create template. So let's name that complete the look. And then just leave it all like that, create template. And then we have to go back to default product and make sure that we get rid of that collage. I'm just gonna hide it for now. Okay, so that means that the default product, right, is not gonna show the complete the look section. You actually have to physically click a button that says, I want this product to have a complete the look section, and these are the items that I want to show. And that's essentially what we're telling Shopify here. I'm gonna click save on that. Now, before I show you how that works, I want to let you in a little secret. We're using a tool called Triple Whale for all of our clients and group coaching members. And this powerhouse of a tool allows us to see LTV for a customer at 30, 60, and 90 days. But what I'm most excited about is the estimated action of customers. Imagine being able to send out emails or run ads to customers who are likely to buy from you a second or third time and knowing when to send these marketing messages. Very, very powerful. Make sure to check out the link in the description below. Now that we have everything here set up, all we have to do is go back and let me show you here. So we have now two different product template pages. Um, so let me exit out of that and go to products. So that means that for this Amarillo by morning shirt or product that we have here. Um, and again, we have the complete the look already selected here. All we have to change now is the theme template that I'm using here, right? So right now this is set for the default product. So that means that um, if I look at that right now, it's not gonna show that complete the look section. So what we have to do here is, so what we wanna do here is click on the default product right here. And as you can see, we have the complete the look template for this product. So we can click save on that. And so that should mean that if I click on view, we have this product, we have that section that you may also like, but then we have the complete the look, right? Within here. Now, if we go to a different product, that's not this one, it should hide that section essentially. There we go, that's how it should look. 
Hey, if you enjoyed this video, then I would highly encourage you to check out our website after launch. This is a mini course that we created for uh, people just like you who maybe have just recently launched a website or are about to launch a website for the first time or maybe for the fifth time. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this mini course goes through all the things that you need to know and in order to be prepared right on, on what's next right what, what what happens after you hit that publish button on your website what are things that you need to be doing monthly uh, quarterly every year right um, as far as maintenance as far as things that you need to be looking out for and things that you need to change right throughout your website to make sure that it's still working uh, correctly um, so like i said check that out in the description below and if you enjoyed this video and this whole series on metal fields and all that stuff then let me know in the comments below. I would love to know and keep making videos on Metafields and trying to figure out more things that uh, can be done with Metafields. And I think we were just scratching the surface really on this and I'm excited to uh, see what's next. So I uh, highly encourage you to check out this video as well.